Hello folks, how are you today? Uh, I wanted to uh, clear up one thing about the buzzsaw. Um, I know a lot of people don't know this, maybe some do. Uh, some of you saying that they used to reverse, they put a half twist in their belt when they used to be on the farm or working. They said that kept the belt tight and keeps it from coming off. Um, actually, if you put a twist in the belt, it'll drive the blade backwards. Can't do that. So the way this, so this turns this way now, you see this right here? So the, so the, so the pulley, the tractor would drive the blade this way. But if I, if I give it a half a twist, okay, so then this part would be down, it would actually, when this ran this way, this would run this way, it would come up this way, it would actually drive the blade backwards. You don't want that. Only time people used to put a twist in their belt on an implement was to drive that piece of equipment backwards. That's all you put a twist in a belt for. These belts, so all these pulleys here, they are rounded a little bit. There's a little curvature. That's what keeps the belt on. Even this pulley here, come take a look here. It's hard to see, but that pulley is not perfectly flat. It curves. So if I put a straight edge on this, you would actually see I don't know if you can see that, but it actually curves. That's what holds the belt on. Yeah, so this so this belt, since it's a flat belt and not a V belt, so you got one part of the belt here, one part of the belt here, and it won't won't move as long as it's got good grip on it. But if you twist it, like I say, when that belt spins this way, so can you see that, Heather? That belt would drive this way, right? So see the way the teeth are? You see this, babe? This here is going to come out. Maybe come around here a bit, maybe. Okay, see. So, so you see, this is the way the blade has to spin. See that? It dr gets driven this way. So because the blade, the belt goes on the top. But if the belt come off there, get pushed forward, well, if it got forward and if there was a twist, then that belt would come and it would go underneath and it would get pushed up. It would drive the belt, it would drive the blade backwards. You can't put a twist in a belt like this if that implement's supposed to be run that way. The only way is if I were to park the tractor on that side, if this wasn't in the way, then I would put a twist. So say if say if somebody built this, well they wouldn't, they wouldn't put the table on this way because then the blade's spinning this way, it would end up trying to lift the wood up, you want it this way. So that's why you never put a twist in a belt on certain implements and some you do is to drive the piece of equipment the opposite way. Hope I cleared that part up. Different thing too about saw blades, come take a look at this Heather. So this blade here is not like a sawmill blade either. This here, this blade here is is a buzz saw blade. They have what they call a negative degree angle tooth, a pitch tooth. Sawmill have a positive degree angle tooth. So if you look here, see, if you drew a straight edge straight up here, okay, straight up, Boom, that tooth is leaned backwards. That's called a negative degree angle pitch tooth. Sawmill, they come up and they hook forward, that's a positive degree angle tooth. So this here, if this come up and if it was hooked like this, when I went to cut, it would grab that log and it would roll it on me. So that's why they're leaned backwards like this. On a buzz saw, they're leaned backwards so they don't cast that log and try to roll it on me. A sawmill though, it's a positive degree angle tooth, it's hooked like this, so when the, the blade spins, that tooth comes around, it hooks a log, and pulls the log down tight to the bunk. It was lean backwards, it would try to push that log on them. That's the difference between blades as well. So, this is what they call a negative degree angle tooth. If you drew a straight edge straight up here, you'd see that tooth starts from here and it leans backwards negative degree angle. Hope we got that cleared up. So, can't can't twist the belt. You can't crisscross the belt or else it would drive this backwards. And you can't use a sawmill blade on there either. You want, if you're gonna build one of these, they have to be a negative degree angle tooth. Like I say, or else you're gonna cast that log that you're cutting and it's going to roll it and it's gonna take your fingers off. It's gonna hurt. Sawmill's opposite. You can't use these on a sawmill either because they're a negative degree, you want a positive degree angle tooth.